Hi guys, my name is Katie or KB Does Art and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to texture our door. So I think I'm first just going to texture um, all the metal parts. So you can just go in and hold shift and select um, all of these parts that make up our uh, metal parts of the model. So like all the hinges and the handles. And then once you have those, um, I'm just going to hold right click, do assign new material, do shader, and AI standard surface. I'm going to make mine like a silver and then just up the metalness on that. And then let's see, I'm going to add in like a wood texture for the rest of the door. Click on Arnold and grab a sky dome light and then Let's go ahead and check out uh, a website called Polyhaven. Uh, these have like a ton of free uh, downloadable textures for you. So I'm just gonna kind of look through here in the wood. Like this one would be probably pretty good. And then we could uh, do like a tint of white over it. That would be fun. Let's do that. So I'm gonna grab this uh, you can choose if you want to do 4K. I'm just going to probably do two. Um, and then let's download that and go back into Maya. Let's select the two door elements and do assign new material. You're going to do shader, uh, AI standard surface, and then we're going to be plugging in the different images that we just downloaded. So go ahead and find wherever uh, that texture is. You're going to want to extract those files and then you'll see we've got a couple different options in here. Uh, we've got the color, the displacement map, and the normal map, and the roughness map. So we're going to add the color to, uh, if you click this checker, to this file and then find wherever your texture is. Mine's right here and you're going to grab this one. And then next, we're gonna add in, let's see, um, go under geometry, do bump mapping, grab a file, change it to tangent space normals, click on file again, and you're gonna add in that normal map, and then um, last, oh, we have two more actually. We're going to add in the um, roughness, which is this guy. And then we'll add in the displacement. I think we'll do that under metalness. And then um, under color, I want you to do raw and you can probably make them all that actually just make them all okay um so next we're gonna add in uh go to i think coat is probably where you want to be and up the weight of it We might also need to do it in sheen is up the weight of that. And then let's see, let's go to UV uh, Arnold render. All right. Well, I guess this isn't the worst. Um, if we're going to keep this, what I would advise doing is go to UV editing and then we're going to cut this up a bit. So you can go into um, UV 3D cut and sew tool and then I would probably just make a line going down like this just to kind of cut that part open. Oh, same with this side. Uh, 
Um, okay, let's see how that looks. We can select that and then do modify unfold. Um, and then you can do modify layout. And then let's see how... that's looking under Arnold render okay looking different for sure um, what I'm trying to do is get like perfectly cut kind of like almost rectangles basically so let's control H on this object and just focus on cutting this door I think what happened is that I'm missing um, I want to do like a line across the top as well. Top and bottom. Let's do a line all the way across the top like that. Okay. Let's click on Q, select the UV shells, and then do uh, modify, unfold and then do modify layout. All right, and then I'm gonna do a couple more cuts in uh, just cutting out these guys. Okay, and then same with on this side. I'm going to make a cut on that side, cut on this side. Let's click Q again. Um, you can just grab the whole object, do modify, unfold. Actually, maybe we have to select the UVs. Modify, unfold. Oh, no. Okay. And then do modify layout and then do one more layout. And then I want to find where, yeah, where that shell is. And then I'm going to scale that guy up so that it matches that a bit more. Okay. So, um, that's just kind of like me messing around with UV shells and stuff. You can decide if that's uh, what you want to do. Uh, don't forget to do shift H and unhide that. Um, the last thing I really just want to do is, oh, you can go back into Maya Classic. Um, I want to make this texture. Uh, I'm going to up the metalness on it, but I also want to make it lighter since I don't feel like it's contrasting enough. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so that's about it for this. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a plane, click R and scale it up, and then move it down so that it is under the door. And then I always assign uh, this checker material to it just to kind of see how the other textures play off of like a simple base color um but yeah that's about it so if you guys need any help let me know um but that is kind of just a like easy tutorial for adding um kind of a fun wood texture in and stuff like that so yeah i'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye guys